Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Doremi Fantasy Mylon no Doki Doki Daibuken, aka Doremi Fantasy Mylon's Quest. We are on the second level of the second world. Let's do this already. And you're gonna find out real quickly that, just like the first game, you will be blowing bubbles into walls and breaking into parts that didn't look like you could go through them, but you could. Basically, you'd be breaking walls and finding stuff in between, behind both the tiles and making your way into hidden compartments, which is nice. And there's nothing we can do here. It's basically just like the first game, except you're not finding the most simple things that you'll be needing for the game. Which is something I never really liked about the first game, even though I never really played through much of it. I still don't want to play through much of it either. I mean, for Pete's sake, the first game, there was like stuff for Counselor's Corner covering the beginning of the game. At one point, there was like a whole Counselor's Corner devoted to the first game, My Lost Secret Castle. Not surprisingly, it's notorious just for being difficult and being based entirely around secrets. And I'm gonna go through here, because that's how you're gonna get into this mini game. This one's a bit of a toughie. Count the toy birds that fly all the way across the screen. There are distractions. It gets e it gets harder as you go on too. Just one. They have to go all the way across the screen. If they almost make it, it doesn't count. And level two! I think I counted three. Can we do three? Yes, we can do three. Speaking of three, level three! Um. Ah, uh, seven. Okay, those did go across the screen. Like I said, it gets harder as you move on. You just gotta be lucky. If you can make any lucky guesses, good for you. And we're done exploring this little corner of the section, so let's go over here to the right. And go through even more of the wall here, where you can find a whole load of notes. Go ahead, go to the left here. We could have gone through here. Oh yeah, we that takes us to some place with a bunch of forks and knives and stuff that we're gonna see again eventually. It'll just take us to here, just like the path we just took did. And now we're gonna break through even more walls. The thing is, we gotta do this in order to find the star here. And we gotta take this route in order to do it. Okay, maybe not that one. Gotta be a different one then. Hold on. Can't believe I'm getting invisibility I can't even take advantage of. There we go. We had to go right from that era, from that ladder. None of that's out of the way. First, well, first we can go through here before we get that star. It won't take us to it, but we can still get some notes and never know when you might want the invincibility. Just take care of take care of just getting everything you can get. And there's a second star. We got it. All right. Let's go through. Huh, you apparently you can jump. Apparently just pressing B lets you jump up instead of jumping down. It's not like Mario at all. And our game. There we go. Apparently we had to drop down before we could do anything over there. And now we are out. Which is a good thing. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, knives! Told you we'd see him eventually. Nothing to the left further from there. And 
That takes us to the next part of the level, but we don't want to go over there yet. Instead, let's take care of this pancake-throwing chap and find some more power-ups that I don't need, but maybe you will. Take care of this guy again, and we can go ahead and take care of the blocks. Yeah, you don't want to take care of those blocks first. You actually want to use them to get to those, get to that upper right corner where you can get the power-ups if you need them. Or if you need the nose, that works too. And now for an obstacle course of interesting proportions. Got to duck under the forks here. Duck under the knife. Jump over this one. Watch out for that. I'm amazed I got away with doing that. Duck here. And wait for those to get open and finally, yes, finally we can get over there. Climb up the ladder to avoid that knife and just get over here. And if you need both kinds of power-ups for your bubble, well there there you go. Duck under this. And just break through those blocks and just run straight to the right. Don't even let that knife hit you on the way over there. And we are done with the second level. Now it's time for number three. <coughs> hmm. And this is a much simpler level, kinda. Anyway, you want to go to the right as soon as you begin this level. So there so that therefore you can actually get the star without having to wonder where on earth it is. I'm pretty sure it might be easy to miss, but there it is. There's the third star for uh, Candy World. And I'm going to go to the left a little more. Get some invincibility I can't really make any use out of. Go to the left even further. And if you need them, the fluffy shoes are here. Nevertheless, I'll go ahead and grab them for the notes. And with that, there's pretty much all there, there is for this part of the section. So let's continue to the right where you can find even more notes. Get this guy out of our way. Take the seesaw. There are some clothes here, but that's about it. Take care of those just because we can. And we can now make it to the next section. And yeah, my throw animation just made me invulnerable to that, to that uh, pumpkin head. Here's something interesting. Yeah, I thought I might as well just stay silent for that, just so I could show it off. Self-filling wine, self-filling wine glasses, why not? And there is a secret wall here where you can find a double note. And another gun upgrade if you need it. Oh, come on. Do some more exploring before we do anything else. Nope. You can get to that mini game over there, you just gotta leap on that candle while its flame is out at the right time, while it's in midair. There's another mini game that we haven't done yet, but I don't feel like going through it because getting to it is a nightmare. Sometimes the uh, candle wants to go where you want it, sometimes it doesn't, so I don't even want to deal with that. And that's it for level 3, let's time to go to level 4! Less action. And it's auto scrolling. Why not? Candy if you need it. Even though I really haven't done anything dumb yet. You can actually use the uh, charge attack to stop the auto scrolling for a few seconds. In case you need to take a breather and realize where all the platforms are. But the uh, auto scrolling segments are pretty slow. So I don't really see what the point of that is. But if you do need it, it's there. 
I know some people really, really hate auto-scrolling segments. For me, it really kind of depends on the game. This isn't too bad. I mean, this game, not too bad. Eh. Super Mario World, not too bad. Depends on whether it's a Mario hack or not. But I don't really play through too many of those. And we got a little arrow telling us to go right. Where, el where else can we go? Gee, thanks. And this one's really difficult to miss. I well, at least you can get it here. At least the game doesn't push you through heck to make you go for something you need. And more self-filling wine glasses. Take care of that guy because we can. At least we use that vulnerability for something. Alright. And we're done. No, we're not done already. That's just the first section. At least it's just more of the same here. Just. Wanna wait a little here. A little here. Go ahead and. Wait even more here. This one's got the little party horns, but at least we can wait it out using the fluffy shoes. It makes it a lot easier. I recommend using the fluffy shoes for these auto scrolling segments. It makes moving through them a lot easier. Yeah, this is probably the most boring part of the video so far, and this definitely isn't going to be the last auto-scrolling segment that you'll see in the game, I'm sure. I'm surprised there isn't really a sequel to that, as far as I know. I could be proven wrong. I'll probably look it up on Wikipedia when, as soon as I get the chance. Show off whatever... I find out uh, that little miniature fact-finding mission in the next vid. And we're done, thankfully. Ah, that should be the one, two, three, four, five, fifth level there, which we'll take on in the next video. Join me next time where we finish off Candy World and see what lies beyond. So until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe.